my eyes on dull by moon Their arms and legs are kimbo They walk and live hoping soon To surface from this limbo Their minds anticipating the dawn of the day Shall never know what's waiting near inside away is dim
Musically, straight up, I must say this is one of the best songs I've heard this year. Wow. One of the best, for sure, musically. True. There's great diversity in the music, there's great musical arrangement, there's great thought put into it probably. It just sounded so good, so good, the music. Then it came to the lyrics again, those same dark, intense lyrics about the war, the aftermath of war, about all the plotting, all the planning, all the strategy, all the sleepwalking, all the things that they're doing. Even though he's a talker, he's also doing the same thing eventually. So it's, it's all about the same thing. But musically, wow, Van de Graaff Generator, they have been outstanding on this album and especially on this song, the last song we are hearing in this reaction. Absolutely amazing, The Sleepwalkers. One of the best songs musically. Yes. Yeah, you know, when it comes to war, when it comes to all these things, there's always a price to be paid. You know, <laughs> foolish are those who think that there won't be any price to pay. Today you can see in the UK and America, um, UK is a tiny country with a pretty large population though, close to 100 million if I'm not mistaken now. And uh, US, a huge country, the fourth, third or fourth uh, most populated country in the world, right? And um, so a lot of people there, millions and millions of people over there in the US. So, and millions of those people in those countries are suffering from cancer and Alzheimer's. Now, when you look at the large percentage this year of people who are suffering from Alzheimer's, it's a new age disease. It's basically a new age disease. It's not something that people knew about even four or five decades ago. In, in You know, they weren't too much written about all that. There were a lot written about mental disorders, uh, you know, especially in Germany and France and all those countries, UK again. But uh, in the previous uh, last two centuries, but not much about this Alzheimer's thing or even dementia for that matter. Um, uh, you know, so it's shocking that there are so many millions in this country diagnosed as well as many million, many more millions undiagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and over a million in just US and UK dying each year of Alzheimer's directly due to Alzheimer's disease. Now, if you wonder why it is happening, for me, the logical explanation is you reap what you sow. You did a lot of harm to the rest of the world, a lot of harm in the last couple of centuries, and you're paying the price for it. This is just one of the ways you're paying the price. We all know what a shithole UK and US has become today. So, it, it's, it's the price is being paid. The price is being paid. When you hear songs like this, wow, the music is so good, you just want to forget all about the dark, intense lyrics. I don't really want to talk about all this, but there is a price that everyone pays. You fight, you're going to pay a price. You go wage wars, you're going to pay a price. You rob people, you're going to pay a price. You rape innocent people, you're going to pay a price. You rape even people who are guilty, you're going to pay the price. You torture people, enslave people, you're going to pay the price. UK is paying the price. For being one of the richest, richest civilizations in the world, Modern world, at least, they have become one of the poorest civilizations in the modern world. From looting, from from looting most of the world, they are now on the verge of begging the entire world. Please give us something. Please help us out. They have become beggars. From ruling, they have become beggars. So that is a state of people who do all this. They are literally beggars. And America is no different. I mean, America. You need to just walk the streets of any major city of America or even small town and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. What a shithole America is today in 2023. And most probably it will be a worse shithole in 2024. Yeah, I wonder whose life will matter next few years. <laughs> I remember the last time it happened. <laughs> Elections. Oh, never mind. Oh. Funny things. This was great. I, I like music, you know, in bits over here. Uh, moral, uh, overall, the music was also pretty good. But there were times when it was phenomenal. It was exceptional. I never heard anything like that before by a progressive band. You know, there was uh, this... Uh, I, I thought it was curious music. Uh, there was a moment when it was uh, those uh, detective shows, you know, 
funny way the music that was created after the intro uh, the whole instrumental that took place i don't know what all was playing but it was phenomenal piece there and then after that it was a uh, dreamy music that they played uh, just to embody the title of the song that is a sleepwalker so just to get that you know out there that this is what we are working on so the sleepwalkers thing uh, with the dreamy music that they played and then a lot of lot of uh, uh, lyrics and singing that was accompanying the great music that we were listening to but overall it had the effect of sleepwalkers uh, and i think uh, in a way you know most of the world is sleepwalking at all times uh, and i mean it in the worst way that you can imagine we know when there is a problem but we never want to find a solution as long as it is not affecting me immediately or we think it is not affecting us we don't find a solution we never want to do anything out of our way to make things right even though we know it is wrong and something wrong is happening but we won't even be honest about it to even acknowledge it or admit it it starts with at least admitting that there is a problem but people don't even do that if you have a problem at least be honest enough to at least ad admit it whether you can do something about it to correct it or not or whether it is a larger problem you, you know your contribution you know is very little very minuscule to even make a difference but admitting that there is a problem is a first step towards solving a problem for a very long time you know being uh, in the field of psychology and teaching both now uh, i was disturbed by everything that i read and everything that was dsm manual and uh, you know the fourth and fifth and the sixth maybe right now um, all of that i saw there was a pattern in the western uh, understanding and western philosophy and that was only uh, a diagnosis of a problem but they weren't even talking about the solution and uh, that was um, just to generate more business from innocent people in that field so in the field of psychology they always wanted to tag somebody something people have all kinds of issues and some of them don't even cause a discomfort or it's not even an issue as long as it's not causing you any trouble or it's not hindering your life it's not an issue uh, but we all are unique and we are different and all of us have our own elements uh, so they were very busy tagging people this is the problem that is the problem this problem that problem but they kept on magnifying that problem and they created a huge bubble of it and a lot of people got diagnosed with something or the other in the land of uh, i mean literally in america 70 70% plus people were known or at some point it i don't know now medicine. what i don't know but they had something right they were diagnosed with something they were given some title they were and they were taking some prescription medication and they are, they are taking that expensive i don't know if it was fit but i don't know if it was apt i don't know if it was necessary but they were given that because there was over diagnosis of things but when it comes to real issues when it comes to a uh, solution based understanding of problems you do nothing there is no larger perspective that's missing in the world and those so called world leaders in today's time and that happens to be uh, one sided lop sided in the world right now maybe the balancing is happening uh, and maybe soon it will happen and maybe the balance again will become lop sided and it will be eastward i don't know and that would not be right it wouldn't be right it has to be always a good balance so that one another we listen to one another and do the right thing but it does not go that way but if the west the leaders in the west are retards so called leaders are a yeah. bunch of retards it's better to have it this is how it is going this it's is better to have the east at least continue being the real leaders but yeah i mean uh, 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 and i mean retards in the purest sense of the word manipulative retards though manipulative you think they're just straight off retards but they're manipulative retards it's quite dangerous for the world and it has been for the last couple of centuries so yeah i mean it's sad it's sad so yeah they were talking about sleep walking retards and uh, yeah they're doing all kinds of things while they're doing that so it's literally a bad bad thing and you pay the price for all this at the end of the day the retardation has a price it's on you now and the alzheimer's is killing you <laughs>